I'm Dean Radcliffe. I go by Deanius in the Slack chat room and uh, Deanius Dev on Twitter because someone else took Deanius, I suppose. Uh, my company is Deanius Solutions, and I'm going to talk about juggling async and JavaScript. Um, this is going to recycle a little bit of content. Uh, that was about promises, but I got, I got tired of talking only about promises versus callback. And the fact is there's been so many new kinds of async uh, that have come up that I thought I'd, I'd in, instead of going like depth first into promises and stuff, I thought I would do a, a whirlwind tour of all the other options uh, that, you, that you've got. So, you know, we're going to talk about async. So we should first talk about what sync, uh, synchronicity actually is. Some of you all might remember, <laughs> right, remember that album. But uh, before I continue any further, there's, there's actually someone here that, uh, you know, was, was on national television recently. And I wanted to ask you, uh, Matt, sure. would, would you sign this for me? Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> there you go. So you get to speak about that later. Sure. Sure. All right. Huh? <laughs> um, so you notice I didn't say anything while I gave him the ball to sign, right? And I, I didn't proceed with the presentation. I didn't do any witty banter. I just waited till it came back to me. That's synchronicity. That's synchronous program. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, just basically, anytime you're waiting on a result, you're doing synchronous programming. Um, now, asynchronous programming has uh, a lot of other options. And the first one that came to be in the JavaScript community was callbacks. And then there are also promises. And reactivity is a form of async programming as well. And fibers also help you do async. And also, generators have come along with ES6, and they're pretty cool. And so how do you make sense of all of these options? Um, well, uh, how do you juggle all of these options? That's what I meant to say. And um, basically, that's what I want to explain uh, using juggling as the metaphor, right? Because very often, you, you, you want to be doing something, um, but your hand is tied, right? So in order for me to do something else with my right hand. So here, I'm doing this with my right hand. And in order for me to do something else with my right hand, I have to throw it out of the way so I can grab another, another object. And that is async. So um, you've seen juggling before, right? And things happen so fast that you think that there's a lot of things going on at once. But if I slow this down a little bit, you see there's basically one operation going on, and then you're just switching back and forth between operations. So this is what the V8 engine that runs uh, in Node and that runs in your browser uh, does. It actually just um, alternates tasks, um, but does so rapidly so that it's smooth. So this contrasts with the idea of one thread of execution is going, switching between things, and then the other thing is just independently going around for the ride or doing something completely nutsy like that. Now, that's multi-threaded programming. <laughs> and uh, we're, not, we're not talking 